Max, Tesla shares closing down more than 7% today. Why are investors so disheartened after Tesla hit this amazing milestone? Yeah, you really have to separate kind of the tech story, which is really, a, you know, by any any stra any measure, an amazing achievement by Tesla, selling this electric car that's a, that's a very good car by, by most people's uh, accounting for, for $35,000, a reasonable price. Um, the issue here is that as part of this announcement, uh, Elon Musk also said that they have to close a bunch of stores, uh, most of their stores, uh, in order to make a profit on this car, which is concerning on a couple of levels if, if you're an investor. One is kind of makes you wonder just how profitable can they be selling these cars at this price. Also, it's just such a dramatic shift um, for a company that until recently was talking about expanding the number of stores. And, and it just kind of makes you, uh, makes you feel like, okay, maybe they're not fully in control. And I think investors are, are sort of reacting to that uncertainty. Okay, let's focus on the tech part of this story, Sandy. Given that you tore down a more expensive Model 3, Elon Musk himself yesterday said it is excruciatingly difficult to make this car at this price. So what is your outlook on a $35,000 Model 3? Okay, so I believe that what's going to happen is that uh, he'll have the growing pains that he had last time. Um, his uh, uh, estimations and whatnot of how things are going to run usually don't uh, kick off the way that uh, that he was hoping for. And so consequently, what's going to happen is he's going to see a few things that he's going to have to change as time goes on. So the same thing happened with the, uh, the more expensive versions. They had to decontent here and there, and they had to change the way they did things like getting rid of robots and whatnot and putting in people. So I believe that's what's going to probably happen. So you know, let's talk a little bit about how Max Tesla is going to sell these cars now, closing the stores. On the, on the one hand, you could look at this as he's getting, you know, rid of a costly and perhaps wasteful part of the auto industry. On the other hand, this is very unconventional. And will people actually buy the cars online? How are investors seeing this? I mean, obviously n not well based on the stock's performance today. I mean, it's it's an interesting bet because if Elon Musk is right, if Tesla can just sell, you know, hundreds of thousands of cars a year on the internet, essentially, you know, having people just buy it based on the reputation or maybe because they've, you know, driven in a friend's car or something, that w would, you know, kind of drama dramatically remake the auto industry, which is, you know, totally dependent on these dealer networks and, you know, everyone test drives their car. It's, it, you know, it's a huge part of the marketing and kind of how the business is done. Um, you know, on the other hand, it just adds this additional layer of complexity, which is we, we've seen Elon Musk kind of do this, um, you know, basically throughout his career. I mean, when, when they were launching the Model 3, they did it with, as, as Sandy said, with the robots, you know. And so you could look at this as either as like a grand bet or, or another case where Tesla is kind of overcomplicating things or just increasing the level of difficulty in a way that's going to make certain investors, you know, a little scared. Sandy, $35,000 is still a lot of money for a lot of people. And if you look at any add-on, you can get up to $60,000. Are people going to buy Tesla just because it's a Tesla site unseen? I believe they are. Um, the one thing I have learned about um, <clears throat> that car and Elon Musk is that this isn't a car company. It's a cult. And, uh, and quite frankly, um, uh, Elon Musk attracts people uh, in a way that no one else. In fact, all you have to do is think, which, which car uh, executive uh, would anybody on the street know except for him? I mean, certainly, uh, certainly that he's got that going for him. And quite frankly, um, he's got hidden plans, just like, uh, just like he did when he turned the uh, seat heaters on in the back of the car or modified the braking um, uh, when uh, Consumers Report gave him some, some static. He's going, to, he's, got pull, he's going to pull some rabbits out of his sleeve. And I don't think anybody is going to buy a $35,000 car because they're going to want autopilot and a few other things that, uh, that are extra charges. Um, I, we know that he can probably get down to that point, but he's left so many things inside the car, like, like ADAS and whatnot. Uh, and if you want it, all you have to do is phone up or whatever and, or send him an email. He'll turn it back on and, and you just pay your six to ten thousand dollars and away you go. He's got a different a totally different business plan. Indeed he does, Max. So what does that mean for demand and supply? Well we don't know and, and that's what's scary. So it is true that that 
that Tesla has an amazing following, that, you know, the company thus far has rewritten the rules of, of, of selling, you know, cars at the high end. There's definitely a following. You just, what you don't know is how big this cult is. And, and, and that is, if you're an investor, that's what's a little bit scary. I mean, you know, it, it's great. A cult is great as a, as a marketing thing. But if you're an investor, you know, a cult is, is also implies, you know, instability, unpredictability, and all those things could work out well. But we just, we just don't know. And the fact that there isn't a, a, a great track record of people buying cars in this way or people or, you know, sort of middle class people spending these amounts of money for for cars is, you know, we're, we're in uncharted territory and it could, it could go, you know, basically one of two ways. And, and that's why you see um, this polarizing response to, to Elon Musk, where some people think he's a genius and other people are just, you know, totally freaked out by him.